I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my. Guys, we can pretend that it's morning. <laughs> and we can pretend that where my shirt but good morning guys it's tuesday and i've just closed the fan for you guys so that you can hear me because i'm in a humid warm weather uh yeah we are in we are in lamb guys i know you if you are a K-trap, you already know where in Lamo. I just can say that's I think that's prayer for Muslims, yeah. So it's Ramadan. They have like I think five days of fasting until they like you see do fit tree. And guys, it's basically like the whole island is fasting together. Like when you go to Rome. You do what the Romans do, okay? So we're basically fasting, and they break the fast. I think around six, but you can go and buy some snacks at around five. So that's what I'm waiting for. And basically today we're just gonna be spending a day with me, running errands, and uh, I don't think I can call this a vacation because. Cause I just love being here it in the island it's very beautiful but if it's your first time or if you're planning a vacation in Lamu or any Islam country please schedule it check out when they do when it's Ramadan I don't visit that place when it's Ramadan because most things are closed down and basically it's a quiet that like it's a time they have served their fasting and they take their fasting really serious so i was like we were like discussing like when you were in the bus when you're in bus car coming to nairobi coming to lamb we were like i was asking like why and they're not giving us water because even in ella coach we get water bottles like paper and the milk or like it's an inclusive of the fare you of the ticket so it's like why are they not giving us what i was like really dry up or forgotten to carry my water bottle and basically they came to give us the water at around five when we reached malindi and i was like oh now it makes sense because the basca is for a muslim it's from a muslim it's a muslim family that owns basca so it was basically like um forced to fast no even drinking water so well, give me water at five because of of fasting so it's like we're joking around it's like we're forced to fast but uh to eat their own and i respect all religions and uh yeah catholics we do fast but i don't think we like literally force anyone I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, today we're just basically spending a day with me in an island, and you'll see what we get, to, what I get to do. The little we can do. So it's basically I'm just working, 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 and catching up on emails. Laptop is inside a leather cover. I don't know. Ever since my laptop got destroyed, you know the I am not. I feel safe when it's on this cover that I got when I was in India and it's another cover, it's really nice, I like it so that's why I like keeping my laptop. Catch up on emails first because you know I'm a full time content creator and I have other business that requires me to be online almost 24 7 so I'm gonna catch up on emails and edit uh, the video that was already on so basically we are fasting until the i'm gonna buy some few stuff and cook maybe but i'm doing <coughs>
so we are finished making the bed uh, i've just uh, tried to do little things to make me feel like i have a routine because you know it can go wayward so now i already finished washing my my hair on well, my wash day routine so if you want to watch that i did that yesterday and it's on another video maybe to be up before this one so check my wash day routine for b for c hair i'm gonna go see there's a lady who was supposed to come and braid me but they'll charge me more if they come in the house and if they look at the house they're gonna charge me according to the house and we don't want that so off to the salon get my braids and then yo currently editing this video water i know this is not the right glass but i feel good when i drink it I can have big wine glasses. Just make everything just so good. So I'm just hydrating. It's so hot, guys. Let me see. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, what's the weather in Namu right now? Sorry, I can't get any information about Namu. Hi Siri, what's the weather in Lamu, Kenya? It's currently partly cloudy at 31 degrees. Temperatures are heading down from 31 degrees to 29 tonight. So the the temperature right now is 31 degrees. Let me not lie nowadays. I edit a lot in the morning because I usually upload at exactly five. I don't know if you can hear me, but the idea has not come yet, so I must probably go to the salon. I should actually go to the salon because it's currently four. Okay, guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Spend a day. Wait. Spend a day with me. <laughs> right now it's around five. It's Ramadan currently so everything is closed until 5 so 5 p.m so if you're coming to Lamu, maybe you could not come during ramadan because most things are closed and you have to wear a fully respectful bone because it's ramadan so we're going we're heading out to we're heading out to go buy some snacks and something to eat. So my advice, if you're coming to any like Islam country town, don't visit during Ramadan because most things are closed because they are observing fasting. Yeah, and those are a little bit strict. So yeah, we're going to the streets to find some something to eat. And my hair is bad tomorrow. My but today I'll find somewhere I can control my hair because I came with a wig and I need my, lines, my hair to be dark. So that's what we'll do today. I'll show you the streets. Oh, sorry. Uh,
So guys just bought <laughs> So guys, just bought the street food. I'm going to do a haul when we reach at home because right now I can't film it. Eh? Yeah, guys, we are back from the streets of Old Town. Lamu, I'm sweating. It's a workout. You know this dog. There's no Uber. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a haul for you. Excuse my sweat. I'm gonna do a haul and how much it costs me to buy from the street vendors. It's actually cheaper. But guys, most restaurants have closed and you really have to respect <clears throat> I'm walking the stairs okay we'll talk when we do a haul this is a type of snappers this white snapper here they're just this kind of type of snappers 1 kg 1 kg okay. So guys, you are back. I'm going to be doing a haul. I went with, I took from my Mpesa, I withdrew 1,500, 1,500 Kenya shillings. So that's like 15 USD dollars. I've come back, I've returned with how much? Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've returned with 900 Kenyan shillings. So how much did I spend? I spent 600 Kenyan shillings and let's start with the most expensive one Should we start with the most expensive one? So I spent 600 Kenyan shillings today. That's like six dollars of shopping and Basically I bought from street vendors the fish I bought it the package because that way is uh, I think much cheaper when they wait for you sorry if you can hear the fan noises but it's actually so hot i can't so let me sanitize first because we don't care we need to sanitize corona taught me one thing and it's to sanitize so the fish was by kg and it's some type of white snapper some snappers yeah so it was one kg and it was 550 per kilo so i paid 550 so that's where my money went most of my money went to yes 550 guys i've lost my calculation calculate for me down there because when you're traveling you don't even like have the sense of money or currency but all i know it's cheap 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 it's cheaper than fish is cheaper honestly than nairobi and it's straight from the fisherman guys the fish i bought it straight from the fisherman and it's fresh from today so that's good <laughs> i think so this one is ukwaju this is called tamarind juice they make it fresh and because it's like they were breaking their fast it's much cheaper and i didn't want to vlog anyone because i have to respect their culture and i don't want, know if i'll be breaking it if i you know mm. Mm. it's tamarind juice it's 20 shillings less than 20 cents dollar uh to be honest it's not that sweet and that's why i bought one it's not the best of tamarind juice that i've had actually i shouldn't even been drinking in here i put it in the fridge it's not nice and then the next thing i bought is mitai they use old uh, newspapers to wrap the stuff this is called mitai and it's i bought it one is five shillings so i bought this at 10 shillings guys you can see it yeah it's actually like sweet donut and then it's coated with black donut so this is what they they eat when they are breaking the fast so i bought my favorite of course 
they wrap it in old newspaper this one is uh it's called i'm gonna call them by their swahili name let me know if you have some snacks like this this is basically like snacks guys uh, what it's called rice cake yeah it's called rice cake uh it's burnt but actually i like burnt burnt rice cake it's actually like a rice coconut rice pudding cake this is my favorite guys favorite mm. mm -hmm. each one of this is 15 dollars so for four pieces i got them at 60 bob just like just divide by 100 if you want the us currency so yeah it's really nice mm. this is what they use to break their fast guys and this is the largest part this is my favorite i told you so this one is 60 17. This is called quadri sauce. There is the quadri juice, and this one is uh, tamarind sauce. I like this. I love this. Then we have it. Oh, we have here something else. I know we share some recipes with Indians. Guys, I should transfer this to a mini. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. Actually, a mess down here. Right. Yeah. This is called. This is called Vias Karai. And there are 10 pieces. One piece is 5 shillings. So 10 is 50 shillings. I need to actually warm this. Mm. So good. And it goes with this sauce. So I'm gonna warm this and then maybe eat. Then this one is called bajia. I got 10 bajias. One bajia is 5 shillings. So 10 of them is, I don't know. So I'm gonna warm this. And then we come and talk because it's cold and I like it when it's warm guys I think I've been scammed I bought 10 of them but it's actually like am I miscalculating right. yes I bought 10 of this this is 3 8 ok let me warm them up I guess it's a mukbang. It's not the best tamarind I've had, but Pamparira, Pam Pam Parara, Pam Pam Parara. I'm also breaking my fast. So Ooh. So I need this. I need, I need cubes for my drink. So it's like I'm breaking fast with them. I use too much napkins. I should be charged. <laughs> what should we start with? I have my sauce. This is tomato sauce from previous takeaway. This is the star. The star. Let's put it here. This, I don't want to destroy dishes. Oh, shit. 
I need salt. I need salt. Hmm. What else have we had to? You dip it on your sauce. Bajia, there are different kinds of bajia. These are definitely not my, my favorite bajia. So it's like I'm breaking fast with them. Okay, I'll finish this, then chat with you later. I'm having dinner. This is my dinner fish and rice. Yosh. And some tamarind sauce. Mmm, it's juicy. It's fun. I'm going to put the bread for you. I'm going to put the bread for you. What type of fish is this, guys? Please let me down below. We are marinating it, so we'll show you in the end product. Okay, let's go. I'm going to go. I'm going to Oh. Oh. But me favorite fish I'm gonna name me snappers.
Today I'm having rice and coconut beans. That's my favorite. Mm. It's so good. Just gotten out of the salon. Guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I can't even talk. More thingy, more thingy prayers every time. So. See you later and Eid Mufitri to my Muslim brothers and sisters. Okay guys, bye. Chat later.